Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Life is Strange True Colors. We are currently in the flower shop in the middle of a LARP, but we're taking a little bit of a break from the LARP just to check in with Riley here. But uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be finishing this LARP today, so that's exciting. But let's go ahead and... Oh, there's a raffle going on. So Eleanor's donating all those decorations? Oh, whoa. Um, but all right, yeah, let's go ahead and talk with Riley. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. Um, Eleanor. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. <laughs> she probably needed a break from me. I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those, like, medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. Yeah. Mac. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. <laughs> He gives me shit every time I see him. I can't get out of this town fast enough. Stay strong. All right, I guess we'll talk Let's later. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. All right. Didn't really do much. Just checking in on her. I guess we can go look at the USB. Let's see. I... We'll definitely not touch this. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a bus ticket. God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels like it's been years. Wow. Sooner or later, Riley's gonna figure out Eleanor's secret. Yeah. There's no way you can, you can hide that. And, I mean, I don't know. Does it ever get any better? Or does it just get worse as you get older? What a piece of shit. Wow. Got you a little going away present. It's from that chocolate place we went to on our anniversary last year. I haven't been able to sleep lately thinking about you out partying on your own. Of course I trust you, but there's going to be a lot of guys there and that makes me anxious. I honestly wish you would think about it. Think I honestly wish you would think about that a little. Wow. That's some going away card. <laughs> no good luck on your path or just hey you know there's gonna be a lot of guys around you maybe don't talk to them <laughs> come on mac nice <laughs> oh my gosh Alrighty, well i think we're done here uh let's continue this larp i wonder what we'll find at the bridge of flowers <laughs> Alrighty, you ready ethan um, oh, also, one last thing. I saw- I, I completely passed over the sun silver thing when I was- <laughs> I was editing. No one appre- Listen here. Um, Since you two already defeated here. the serpent. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. So it's in- it's in here. I think we can, like, just look at the sun silver thing. And then... Talk to the blacksmith about it? Not exactly sure. Alright, I'm just here to look at this. How does Steph come up with all these names? I don't know... How does Steph come up with all these names? Let's see. How does Steph come up with all these names? Iron, golden ore, and fire powder? I don't know, let's, let's go see. Not that we really need the scroll, but it could be an advantage or something, I don't know. 
Alrighty, let's um talk with him. Hey, we found the components of Sun Silver. Okay. It's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Sweet. I'll take it. <laughs> An extra turn. Okay, Stocking we actually really don't need up that. On but scrolls. We really are, aren't we? We have literally three, four, five, six. We have eight scrolls. And a bell and troll dust and one coin. Life without the monster. Insane. Alrighty, uh I think we're time it's time to fight that troll. Uh let's head for the bridge. I'm assuming it's gonna be the troll. I wonder what we'll find at the bridge of flowers. <laughs> Need more scrolls. Oh, we got a coin. Nice find. Thanks. Here we go. I think we just need one more jewel, oh. right? Whoa. Oh. oh my god. Oh shit! Troll! Incoming! Did he just cut? He's got a soul jewel right there. <laughs> oh, 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 you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. Jesus. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Um, Grr. dust. <clears throat> troll dust. Dusted trolls become very friendly. One pinch per troll. No, no. Don't you dare. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh my god, Ron. Visitors. <laughs> I love visitors. Can I, can I get you anything? <laughs> uh, a glass of marsh water, uh, slug chips. That jewel. How about that jewel on your belt? Sure. <laughs> hmm. All right, I think that's all of them, right? Anything else? Um, help our quest, say something nice. Why don't you say something nice about each of us? Mm. That's fun. <laughs> compliment me, please. The compliment you game. Put a great deal of thoughtfulness and care into everything you do. And you see deep into the hearts of people. But you don't let that stop you from believing in them. This troll is emo. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, We're on a quest. Anything you can do to help us out? Hmm. I could teach you to fight like me. Hmm. There you go. Oh, bet. Jesus Christ, <laughs> we have so much That was shit. quick. All right, we're done. I think that's all we need, right? Come visit again, anytime. <laughs> it's got glitter all over his mouth. We've got all three. We can go back to the king now. All yep. right. Shit, that didn't take long. Oh, oh, she knows the flash drive is missing. Keep an eye out. Oh man. <laughs> no, but depending on the reward, I'll try <laughs> to find it. My gosh. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the king. What's this? I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. Wow, we know this is Ethan's dollar? I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm going to tell my mom you called me a liar. Do it, dude. I dare you. Gabe, you would have really had fun with all this. Uh, what is this? Oh, oh Charlotte. My God, it's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanor, the monster slayer, you've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria. 
The forest spirit! <laughs> you have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look. There. Ooh. What is that? The Sky Sword. It's the Sky Sword of Power! It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics! It's got the pincer. And the same grip. And it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? Oh, uh, Ryan made it. Can I really take it? Use it for good. Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay. Damn, he's <laughs> dropped that shit. That's so cool. Aww. That's awesome, holy shit. <laughs> They did not. Oh my god. Holy shit. This game, man. What the hell? Dude, that is an awesome sword. I guess we're seeing things through the eyes of Ethan now. Bard, a song if you please. Oh god, oh god, I hope I can hear it. Monsters beware, prophecy fulfilled. The prophecy is fulfilled at last. Now Thanos might is unsurpassed. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, boss fight time. I got plenty of scrolls. Plenty. We got this. <laughs> Dude, that's so badass. Is that Jed? I'll take that sword now, and the jewels! Cravius, Lord of the Underworld! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! Yep. You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! Uh, encur encourage the We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Give them to me! <laughs> Let's do it. The music changes. All right, let's see how powerful this guy is. Oh my gosh, we actually have, what the fuck? The noises, it reminds me of, oh my gosh. Okay, um, uh, I'll win, uh, magic. Stirring him. What the hell, dude? Alright, Thanor, attack. I don't have my character sheets, do I? Attack. Attack. Uh. Stab. There we go. Woof! How's our health doing? How powerful is he? Uh. Let's do. Move this advantage. Scroll of Healing. I only took pictures of the old character sheet, so I don't even know. I forget what nimbleness. I think this is dodge. This is an extra turn. This is just healing. 
Okay, so let's do magic, fire blast, attack. Let's see what the strike of a wrath does. Strike of wrath! Alright, I did a lot. Hmm, let's see what this does. Horrid harmony. Oh, damn. Ring of fire! No! <laughs> Yikes. Oh, don't we have something that'll help us? Uh, advantage? Healing? Healing. Scroll of healing. Doesn't it, like, get rid of all effects on us? No? Yes, it does. Okay, cool, cool. Right, we're good, we're good. We're halfway there. Let's do... Shield of courage. Shield of courage! Attack, magic. I don't know what some of this stuff does. Whatever. Hypnotic fugue. There we go. That seems to be doing the trick. Transfixed by the gorgeous music. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh. Stirring him. There we go. And then attack. Stab. Oh! I summon the fury of hell! <sighs> Death to all who defy me! Ah! Oof. I got hit. Uh, let's do advantage. Scroll of advantage. Get an extra turn, I think. I think we can finish him off right here. To magic. Stirring him. Attack. Burning blade. Burning blade. Oh. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, it's only one damage. I don't know what distortion field does. Let's see. Distortion field. I think that that's the one that that burns us too. Sorry. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth yeah. it. Uh, All right, go. We get him. This fire. We get him. I think we got him. No! Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> we did it! I can't believe what just happened! <laughs> uh, epic, fun, epic. That last fight was epic! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the best part was finding... Uh-oh. wasn't your fault at all. It wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. Charlotte? Back here? Man, that's gotta be a lot on his shoulders. Ooh. 
Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. Yeah. At least we got to do the LARP, but... I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. Honestly, by the end, I was having just as much fun as he was. <laughs> he thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. Aww. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. See you're involved. <sighs> Everybody's hurting sorry. Right now. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. <sighs> you do have a lot going on. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind you at all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. You sure? <sighs> Are you sure? If you want company, I'm- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Shit. Maybe I should just give her some This space. was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? <sighs> Alright, let's check up on stuff. Let me see. Thanks so much. You totally killed it. Award-winning bard material right there. Oh my gosh. All shucks. Ducky. Marvelous event. I'm so glad I could participate in today's live action roleplay. Brings me back to the, my days in theater. Did I ever tell you that I once... I say the role. What the hell? He's just going off. <laughs> Alright, um, can I look around? This hurts to even look at. Oh my gosh. How much did it hurt to make? It looks like Charlotte is really pouring herself into her art. Alrighty, let's see what's going on with her. is so intense. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Let's have a look. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? I wonder if 
there's some part of her that blames Ethan. Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Wow. She doesn't like us. She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Yeah, it was Ethan. She's just angry. Ethan! It's your fault! Why couldn't you just fucking listen? You're angry at him. At Ethan. You blame him. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then, Cape. I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe, but Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. I don't even know what to say. Your feelings matter. Your actions are what matter. I don't want to just completely write off her feelings because, I mean, she has every right to feel what she's feeling right now. But her actions do matter. She can't just treat Ethan like shit after this. I mean, yeah, it's fucked up what he did. If he would have just listened, Gabe would still be alive, but... You know, that's not how it played out. I feel like her actions are what matter. None of that makes you a bad mom. No matter what you're feeling, you always give Ethan what he needs. That's what matters. None of it fucking matters! He's dead! I wish I were too. <sighs> this anger could kill her, and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if I could just take it away? What? Can I do that? We're gonna be pissed off. I can do it. I can take her anger from her. We're doing what this. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? It's gonna make us shoes. I knew it. I feel like. 
in a real life situation where we don't have these powers. She would have to deal with her anger. It would be the right, the selfless thing to do. To take her anger. But what would that do to us? What would that do to the people around us? I feel like she kind of has to deal with this on her own. I mean, she doesn't have to do it on her own, technically. Like, we're all here for her. But... It really- it, it would be the right thing to do. To, to take the anger away from her. But I just worry how we would treat people around, you know, the people around us. I think I'm gonna leave her. I, I, I just, I just worry how, what would happen to us and what would happen to the people around us. What if we start treating Ethan this way? Like, to start... We're all grieving. I think she just needs time. She's gonna have to deal with this anger. It's shitty. It's so shitty. And I want to help her, but I'm honestly kind of scared to. But I think I'm gonna just leave things alone. I hope she sh everything turns out okay and this doesn't spiral into something more. But I, I just, I hope things turn out okay. I can't. I'm sorry, Charlotte. I feel, I feel so bad. I feel like she need to say nothing, apologize, reassure, reassure. You're strong. You'll get through this. I guess we'll find out. I, th I would like to think if she struggled enough to... to not... before Gabe. It took- she said it took them so long to be okay, but they were- in the end, they were okay. I feel like it's gonna take some time, but she will be okay again. Okay, okay. I would like to- Hear me out. Oh. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Oh, I feel like shit now. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? Couldn't help her. It's kind of- I couldn't help her. I don't know. She was hurting so much. I thought I'd be able to help her, but I couldn't. If you couldn't help her, I'm sure no one could. So please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but Alex. We found a recording of Gabe's call. What? Oh no, this is gonna... I should probably listen to that. Yes, we should. We should all listen to that. I'm nervous. Things are gonna just start getting worse and worse. Uh, it's gonna all just blow up, isn't it? I need to know. We're here for you. Okay? Ethan texted me. Hey, Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing. Really, you are badass. You don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad and stay safe. Aw. He's so sweet. <sighs> All right, I really can't do- why is the camera moving like this? I really can't do anything besides play this recording, so here we go. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit! 
He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. All right, nothing too out of the ordinary. It's kind of how Mac said it happened. They just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. <laughs> you okay? We're taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Fried rice. A key part of any good investigation. All right, looks like we're got to find joy it. in the little things. Right, Gabe? Ryan brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in handy. A cold case and a warm beer. Whatever's going on with Typhon, it wasn't worth Gabe's life. He's angry. We're going to get them for you, Gabe. All right. Um, let's look at this flash drive then. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. All right, find out what happens after Gabe's call at 8.41 p.m. So this is the call log. Uh, after 8.41 p.m. satellite phone. So this was probably Gabe's call right here. And then Typhon. Lena, see. it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. Oh, that's some bullshit. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? Jesus Christ, no. yeah, the company then over some kid's life. Then do the math and make the right call. Jesus fucking... Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. What is Rhea? Diane called HQ to discuss something called Rhea. Alright, Lena Clark, what is this? Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Who is this Lena me girl? You? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. She sounds like a okay. Karen. I refuse to feel bad for Diane and all this, but... Damn. Diane kind of sounds like she's kind of on a leash. What is this? HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me. Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. 
We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. Wow. A simple phone call. Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour yeah. emergency line sure. would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly. This is all the evidence the we need, man. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. Jesus Christ. There's no danger she sounds like whatsoever. she's reading off a piece right. of paper. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Same. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's Jason. Hello, oh. Deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Right. Typhon mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news and I don't know, after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. <laughs> All right, let's look at these emails. We gotta figure out what a Rhea is. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. All right. Walker to Jacobs, want to congratulate you on your efforts in the Haven Springs expansion campaign. Blah, blah, blah. Past inspections, pop some champagne, you've earned it. Been hearing great things about your progress with the town members. Sponsoring the Spring Festival is a nice touch. Keep up the work. Is I'm going to make sure this expansion fails if it's the last thing I do. Of course, that was Diane's idea. I see. Whatever Typhon was up to, it looks like they've all but gotten away with it. All right. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Clark, Lena Clark. I warned you, Lena. I fucking warned you. Rhea went off. Rhea undetected. went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? They're hiding something. Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. All right. Rayo was the second blast. So there was the second blast. All right. Well, a I'm second blast. That's a Bond villain type stuff. Rhea went off undetected as you insisted and now someone is dead. Better have a plan. I'm not going down for this, at least not alone. Reply, I understand that you're upset, emotional about tonight's tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I am choosing to overlook this mon momentary, monumentary lapse of judgment. Wow, that's a funny way to spell criminal negligence. <laughs> I bet this is when Diane decided to start copying evidence to this USB stick. He had a name and a life and a girlfriend and a sister. All right, I want to keep looking at these Damn. emails. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? 
executive training program will have will move forward with your enrollment as soon as you have the situation in Haven all wrapped up. Situation? You mean that guy you killed? Jesus Christ. Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Sorry to hear about the troubles you're having with your hauler. New hauler. Wait. Does this mean someone at Typhon feels actual human emotion? No. I'm not buying it. He's talking about it like it's a sure thing. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so... bureaucratic? The timing of all this is too convenient to be a coincidence. And I thought above-ground mining was terrifying. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done with the emails. Let's look at these files. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. <coughs> That's not creepy at all. Medical expenses. Typhon knows about Eleanor's dementia. Shit. That is weird. It won't be so secure once we tell Jed what really happened that night. I knew that affidavit gave me a bad feeling. Poor Ducky. I didn't know. Aww. What? Pike has a... Okay. Bigger fish to fry right now. <laughs> what? A crush, on, a crush on Diane? This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Search. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait. They set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They're hiding something. They were burying something. What the hell? Well, ugh, Jesus. This is starting to really unfold. Um, well, all right, that was chapter three, I think. Uh, let's look over our choices. Um, Alex chose Ryan to distract Diane, 39%. Interesting, so most people chose Steph. I actually saw what happens if you choose Steph. It's actually pretty funny. Uh, Alex left Charlotte with her anger, 47%. So we are in the minority for that, but it's not too far off. Yikes. We'll see how that will affect us later down the road. Alex made Diane sad. 75%. Alex didn't play a record. Oh yeah, well, I don't really mess with music. <laughs> Alex didn't weed the rooftop garden. Oh shit, we gotta take care of the rooftop. We gotta start doing that. Ethan and Alex were never knocked out in battle. 97%. Hell yeah. The troll was subdued with magic powder. 37%. The serpent was put to sleep, 58%. Steph helped Alex find out what Typhon was up to, 47%. Wait. Steph stormed out of the apartment. She would have stormed out? Wow. King Tabor was vanquished in the final battle, 100%. Nobody has yet to lose to King Tabor, it seems. Uh, Riley doesn't know about Eleanor's condition, 67%, so she could find out, wow. Alex helped the student focus on her work, 64%. Uh, Alex and Ethan solved the Jester's riddle, 60%. We're basically in the majority for most of this, except for maybe some of the, the big decisions. Um, Alex and Ethan helped the blacksmith with his work, 72%. And those are all the choices for this chapter. Alright, I guess we're on to the next chapter then. Chapter 4, Flicker. Getting to the end of this, guys. We got one more chapter after this. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. Alright. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. 
citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. <laughs> Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Oh yeah, we're giving away a rose. Maybe. I can decide downstairs. We're definitely gonna be giving away a rose. I just don't know who yet still. Alrighty. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Chinese takeout, got the laptop. What do we got in the chest? Anything new? We got ornaments, string lights, robot, nothing too crazy. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Rest rose. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. Aww. Sorry, I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. <laughs> I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. Oops, wrong button. Leaky faucet. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. <laughs> he seems like the type to do that. Man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. <laughs> All right, got the guitar, shoo shoo. Let's look at the, the outfits we have for this chapter. Oh my gosh, hot dog man. Yes, we got a tiger and some lips. Hmm, I don't know if I like the stockings, but I like hot dog man. <laughs> I think we might actually keep the, the outfit we have on already. I think I like it. Yeah, let's just keep it on. Yeah, let's do that. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Aww. Got a letter from Ethan. Oh my god, my bard hat. All when the bard will ride again. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Alrighty, uh, let's go upstairs and clean these weeds. Let's see if the I can The USB clean these stick weeds. is on oh, my desk. Oh, 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 Let's get my USB stick. Hold on. Game wants the USB stick. Gabe's notebook. Oh, yeah. I'm about ready to start my own list. <laughs> All right, let's grab this. Okay. Can't lose Time it. to head downstairs. Got a text from Eleanor. Are you joining us this evening? Yes, this is one party I'm willing to be <laughs> I'm willing to be brave. Uh, okay, make it painless as possible. Got a text from Ethan, enjoy the spring festival. Wish I could be there. I should really head down to the park. All right, looks like we're not even allowed to go upstairs this uh, <laughs> this chapter. That's fine. Let's head down. Test, test. Check, check. Check. Holy shit, you own a skirt? Oh my god. <laughs> hey guys. You own a skirt. Fucking stuff. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Oh my gosh. Uh, need help setting up. Who's playing? Who's playing? Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I have to run back to the trailer. 
Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. Alrighty, this is the festival. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. All anyway, right. time to enjoy the festival. We're definitely gonna be giving away a rose. Oh, here we go. Take one for special someone. For someone special. We're taking one. I gotta decide. <laughs> Fucking shit, dude. They're both just too good looking, too nice, too perfect. All of them. Jelly bean count. This game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this? Oh to my myself? god, I hate those hmm. games. Maybe I can help him somehow. Hmm. This is impossible, right? Gotta figure out the number of. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. <laughs> yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So Aww. I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. He's going to spend his money on his is dog. Which really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Uh, oh shit, I didn't know, hold on, wait. I can't, oh, I can't, I don't know yet, I don't know yet, hold on, wait. I'm gonna let the timer now. She's definitely hiding something behind that. You know what? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. No problem, uh, I'll just... She knows, this lady it. knows. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, jelly bean lady. That's not right. It's fucked up. Come on, she, she's gotta know, right? Right. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. I think I'll steer clear of this whole can of jelly beans. Oh, okay, well I guess I'm not involved. I wanted to help him, but I think I talked to the wrong person. <laughs> Wow, this is a beautiful model. Alrighty. Did we pick up a rose? We did, didn't we? Ryan. I can give him a rose. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. We can literally decide what to do from here. Yeah! Hey, thanks. Uh, man, this show rules. Uh, it's something. Anyway, I'm Izzy. That's Steph. We're Drugstore Makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. It happened last year. Yep. I remember it's been a hell of a month, but this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. So then, where's the after party this year? God, after party. I just hope Riley is doing all right. Oh, oh, Young no. man like yourself, you what have to know Riley? what the haps is. Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. Thinking of calling it a night soon. My goodness. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery to? system. <laughs> Used to be that the spring festival wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in someone else's bed. But I'm Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Um, lots of work, huh? The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. Uh, we drinking later? So, we doing shots tonight fuck or what? Yeah. Of course. Body shots. What the Who's fuck? Who's going first? Eleanor. Just kidding. You crazy, man. You crazy. <laughs> or am I? Oh my god. <laughs> I love her. 
I love her so much. Where's Riley? Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Okay. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. I better get going. Hmm. Uh, can we not cry, I guess? Probably Enjoy shouldn't your cry. night. You no. too. Poor Riley, waiting for a bus all alone. But thank God she never found out about my condition. Riley went to the bus stop alone. Hmm. I wonder why. I hope she's okay. Alright, well, we can't really talk to Eleanor anymore. We got text. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight, but I haven't seen her around. Where is she? Don't tell me something happens to her. Got apple bobbing? Oh my goodness. Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Alrighty, um, let's talk to Ryan. Ryan's always been there for me. Should I give a rose to him? What's the task right now? Give stuff a Ryan a rose, explore the festival. Okay. Let's talk to Ryan. Let's hey. see. How's it coming? Oh. Good. I'd say the chances of starting a fire are low to medium low. <laughs> Good. That's it. That's all I'm getting. All right. What about Steph over here? I'm still trying to decide. I'm going to make my decision any minute now. Hey, Steph. <laughs> oh, she's she's... She's too busy jamming. All right. <laughs> Steph is just awesome. Maybe I could give a rose to her. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I feel like I've explored everything already now. Excuse I don't know me. what to do. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk. I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. Right? It almost makes it feel like a tiny Coachella. <laughs> this Super is... Tiny. Awesome! Favorite so, time of the year, good like by me? far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. The Black Beast, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so cute. Rar. Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? <laughs> That's cute. All right, god damn it. Let me think this through. Look at Steph. Oh my god, she's jamming. This is such- this is literally the hardest romance decision I've ever had to make. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Usually I'm pretty good at like figuring out who I'd want to romance, but this has been the hardest. Uh, I think I- as much as I love Ryan, I think I, th I think I'm gonna go with Steph. I literally, they're literally both just, they're tied. Ryan is literally a fucking dork, which I love. <laughs> but Steph is literally Steph, and, you know, come on now. Uh, Alright, let's give Steph this rose. Oh, well, she's jamming. I hope this is a good time. Whatever, we're doing it. so sweet. This is for Oh my you. god, I'm gonna cry. This is a beautiful moment. Are you serious? Of course I am. Oh, she looks very, really, like, nervous dude, about it. Thank you so much. She this me totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. Can I read her thoughts? Ryan, everything's set. Meet me at the stage. All right. We're already ready. It seems. Two-faced bitch. Oh my 
gosh. Feeling is mutual, smiley face. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I better head back. Sure, okay. Holy fuck. She gave me a rose. Time to step it up, Gingrich. Oh my god. I'm ready for whatever I've started. <laughs> Time to step it up. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, Mac is here. I heard the call. I want to I kind of want to hug him. I feel bad for him. And I, I wanted to thank to you. I know you tried to do the right thing. He honestly needs so, somebody right now. What now? I'm taking Typhon down. The whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. I guess I can't blame you. Money's money. Just keep your guard up, okay? It's always flattering to see how much you care about me. No, he was a dick at first, but he just. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Oh, oh, that's not what I know. There's the Mac I know. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, dude. Yeah. You too. That's not what I meant, Mac. <laughs> Microphone. Hello, everybody? Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is... Oh, I love him. ...just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I could make you my wife. You had to go and make a scene, didn't you? It's so cute. Oh my god, this is such a sad... Sad thing. Poor little thing. Can we blow it up? No. Oh, these are cute. Look at the swings. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's them. Crap. Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? If this is a date, it's a really silent one. <laughs> Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Aw, look at the hang of this one day. Or not. <laughs> or not. That's so cute. Okay, so there's this young farm maid in the elvish country. Thanks, you, Steph. Sets out to Thanks find for helping me find the fun again. Aww. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. Aw, that's so cute. Wait, she picks up mercenaries. I'm a little worried we haven't seen Charlotte, but I don't, I don't want to worry. Alrighty, I think we're. Alrighty, I think we're just about done here. Let's go talk to Ryan. Can I give him both roses? I wonder. No, I can't. <laughs> that would probably fuck things up, wouldn't it? Hey. Oh hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. I knew it, dude. I fucking Seriously? knew they were gonna do that shit. That's awesome. Well, wait. Who else? The us, the Alex, us, us. Oh god, I hope Stop. I can hear it. Who else is playing? <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> we didn't want you to wuss out. I'm wussing out. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. Oh my god. This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. It better be awesome. I better not embarrass myself on this damn stage. <sighs> um... We've never played together before, and... Uh... I hate stuff so much right now. <laughs> She's... Anyway... Sorry if this sucks. Oh god, we're not gonna be able to hear it, are we? 
I'm gonna be able to hear it, but we're not gonna be able to hear it. God damn it. I already know. Fuck it. Yep, 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 yep. That sucks, dude. Just imagine them jamming out right now. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be nice replaying this <laughs> when I can hear the music. Because I'm sure the music is the best part, but it's alright, you know. I don't mind. Ryan, why are you not dancing? Oh, I wonder if Steph is singing. Oh my god, Ryan's getting into it. <laughs> That's so cute. God damn it. What are they singing? Would like to know. <laughs> this looks so funny. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Looks like she had fun. Uh-oh, what? Oh, Charlotte, is she okay? She seems upset. Oh no. Oh, come on, I was having a good time. I was horrible to you earlier. You really weren't. Really. Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were gonna be best friends. We can still be best friends? I wish. Me too. I know. Me too. Damn, we can just choose to leave whenever we want. All right, well, I want to sit here for a minute because I feel bad. She needs somebody. She needs some comfort. Hey. You okay? No. But... Well, you know. I'm gonna go home. I just worry about her, what she might do. At least she came out, right? That's a good thing. <sighs> Alright, well... Hey, come meet me on the rooftop. Okay. Sounds like go. Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pretty good picture. All right, the rooftop. Let's go. Ooh, it's dead in here. Oh, he kept his crown. It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. Oh, Ducky. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha, sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. Hey, Ducky, who's Tabitha?
Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Okay. There's got to be more I can do for Ducky. the third. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. What else is there? Wait, wait, don't drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you... Ducky, it's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're going to outlast this whole damn town. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. Can we talk to him? I feel like we put on a song. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest? That's right. Did you actually carve that wooden bear? Brana? <laughs> sure did. That was a long time ago. Give me one sec. That's so sweet. I like this song. You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. And that was Tabs. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. Aww. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. <sighs> I'm glad we could cheer him up. 
Okay, I guess let's head upstairs. What you want, Steph? What's going what's going on here? What uh, do you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Oh. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. Uh, I'm gonna be happy for her, but I'm actually very sad. Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. Pick one. Um. The middle of the ocean. Berlin. Um. Kind of curious about the ocean. Is that like Australia? Wow. Nice pick. All right. Tell me about my life in the middle of the sea. Uh. Cruise ship. Congratulations on your new gig playing drums in a cruise ship band. It's pretty sad. <laughs> I can make that work. I'll mix up the dad rock and show tunes with one bikini kill cover per set. <laughs> Nudge some yuppies toward better taste. You could even throw in some originals. Before you know it, you've got the world's first cruise corps band. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To the ocean? <laughs> sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. I don't really know. We kind of just moved here. I mean. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Ooh. Oh, we're not gonna get. We're not gonna hug. <laughs> Please. Oh. Kiss me. Oh, kiss me. Kiss me. Oh. Kiss me. <laughs> I wonder if she knows that we kind of know. You don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. So many emotions, I guess. She's leaving. We're both leaving. Are we both leaving? I don't know. And then, you know. <laughs> it's 
a lot. It's a lot. We gotta give that USB to Pike. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, I feel like he's gonna plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. What the fuck? What the hell? What is going on, dude? Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Nope. Not exactly. Coffee? Nope. No thanks. Coffee would be great. How about it? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm alright. Thanks, though. Good. Cause we're, uh, actually out. <laughs> Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. <laughs> what? What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Really? Sorry. Gabe? death. It, you need to. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. That's so stupid. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order oh, came down today. Up. I did what I could, but you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. The order came down today from who? High up. Bosses, bosses, boss. Bet you somebody from Typhon. It's not my job to know. If they know about everybody that lives here, that I'm Look, sure they could they have the power. What happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is, you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. I don't know what we Alex, can do. you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. 
Five to ten, easy. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. Yeah, if we just let the death of Gabe go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Do I have to make this Fuck decision that. now? I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Do I get a lawyer? buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Look at it. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? What is going on, dude? See for yourself. What is going on? Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Fuck me. Intel shows subject. High level determination. Let's see. They have pictures of everything. Of what the hell? They have pictures of Steph, L Ryan, and I. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and. Who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away... But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. <sighs> what Fuck. I, gotta have to make I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Fuck. I'm gonna. Shit. 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 I don't know what to do here. I put everybody's life at risk. I'm not worried about myself having to serve 
whatever time. I'm honestly not really worried about that. I'm more worried about Steph and Ryan. What would happen? I really don't know. I don't know what to do. I honestly feel like the more exciting option would be this. But the- the- I don't fucking know. I really don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. I feel like this is just giving up. So we take Pike's fear, and he looks at the drive. I feel like I put him at risk too. But at the same time, like, what are they gonna- If everybody in this town knows, what are they gonna do? Blow up the town? <laughs> People have to know. I feel like it's worth the risk a little bit because fuck this company. I mean, had it not been Gabe, it would have been Ethan or Alex or Ryan. And they're hiding something. They're totally hiding something. I mean, other than the fact that, you know, the explosion, I, I, I just don't, I don't want to, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. YOLO. Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just keep your head down. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. Oh god, I hope I don't- Ah oh man, I'm so worried about this decision. I hope, I pray nothing happens to I know anybody. You're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Just have a little courage. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're I, 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 I'm worried. I feel like I made the wrong decision. Really? Alex. Be careful. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I just made the wrong decision. <laughs> I don't know. I- it's so 50-50, I- Oh my gosh. I'm fucked, dude. I'm dead. I'm fucked. My friends are dead. I'm dead. We're all dead. But hey, Typhon will go down. Right? Oh gosh. Jed wants to see us. People need to know. Everybody needs to know. They can't kill this whole town, right? Like, what? Fucking no, dude. So... Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Calm down, calm down. Panic attack. Too, dude, dude. So, so, I'm just, I don't know. I have no idea what to do next. Yeah, me too, Alex. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. <laughs> Well, alright you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. 
Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in the gear I use, and I'll see you guys Time for a change of clothes. in the next video. Bye.